Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. What's for dinner tonight, you ask? Well, since it's a gloomy, rainy day here in New York, I decided to make some pot roast stew in my Instapot. That's when I take a pot roast and I chop it up and turn it into the most amazing stew. There are two portobello mushrooms chopped up in the Instapot already with two tablespoons of olive oil and three onions. This family loves mushrooms. You don't have to use mushrooms. You can do whatever you want. But this is what I'm going to saute to get some juices and flavor going for my roast. This is a three pound roast that I picked up at Aldi's when it was actually on sale, you guys. I paid like $9 and change for it. It's a really, really nice roast. I think it was half price. I was excited. I bought a couple. I defrosted it. And what I've done is I have put a generous amount of onion powder. It's actually finished. Pretty generous. Now, nah, there wasn't too much left in there. And a generous amount of the Kinder's seasoning garlic and herb with sea salt and lemon seasoning mix. I love that mix. And it's got garlic and everything in it that you need. I've generously put... I've rubbed it in on both sides, and then I'm going to spray it with some olive oil, my misto. And when you spray the meat with the olive oil, it really helps to sear in the flavor when you are putting it in the pan. Then we have the top half of a whole entire stalk of celery. I like to use the top half in my stews, and then I put the bottom half in chicken salad and tuna salad and stuff like that. It's just easier for me than separating it stick by stick. But if it doesn't look like it's enough celery, I may add some extra stalks because this is a really big roast. The mushrooms are sauteing up really, really nicely. And I've chopped up the celery and I'm going to drop it in here just for a few seconds so everything can melge together. And I really, I really, really enjoy a roast that has lots of the celery leaves. They add a really good flavor. I really like the juices that they release into my gravy. And I like a really juicy roast because then I can make noodles the next day or take the meat that's left over maybe on the third day and make like a stroganoff out of it. So a three pound roast that was like 20 bucks originally around $9 at half price actually probably for our small family will give us probably around three meals, which is amazing and definitely worth the little extra effort to make this delicious del stew. Then I take the celery, the onions, and the mushrooms out of the Instapot and put them right in the pan that and I had. I take my three pound roast and I'm going to smush it onto the very bottom of the Instapot, but I am going to put some olive oil, a tablespoon on the bottom. When I go to actually pressure cook this, I don't want the Instapot to think that it's burned. So I put a little olive oil on the bottom of the pan so that it doesn't start triggering things. You guys know Instapots are a little bit temperamental when you go from sauteing to pressure cooking. So we're going to put this and get a nice caramelization on both sides of the meat. And I'll show you what that looks like. That is the sound that you like to hear when you are trying to caramelize your beef. So it's been on there for a few minutes. I'm going to flip it and see what we got. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is going to be such a nice roast. Sometimes you just get lucky and you get a really good piece of meat on sale. And this is one of those days. Those roasts have been so delicious. Chris is definitely excited. He already claimed that part right there. He loves it. And I'm going to let that caramelize on the other side while I get all my other veggies ready. We do have the celery, the onions, the mushrooms. I have a bag of bag of peeled baby carrots that just come just like this and I'm going to cut each carrot in half because we just set, we just like them better when they're cut in half. Now that the meat has caramelized on both sides, what we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that there is liquid underneath the meat. Not a ton, but sometimes because it's a big roast, if you don't put the meat, got to lift the side of the meat and put at least a quarter cup of liquid under there or you get the burn notice with the Instapot. I'm just going to put some of this chicken broth. I think this is from Aldi's. I don't usually buy this one, but John picked this one up. So 
we're gonna put like a quarter cup of chicken broth in the pan and then pick and then I'm gonna pick the meat up it already sounds like it's under there but I'm gonna make sure that that moisture gets underneath the meat you guys can understand what I'm saying because that way you won't get the burn notice because there's nothing worse than once you get the burn notice Instapot cooking is just not Insta anymore. Then we're gonna take the carrots, the celery, the mushrooms, the onions, and we're gonna dump them right on top of that delicious roast. I happen, I do happen to have some fresh rosemary sprigs that my aunt gave me from her garden. I have more than this, but I'm gonna chop this bit up and put it in the pan. And this is marjoram that I've been drying that she get, and this is some marjoram. I think this might be some basil as well, but I love fresh marjoram. I'm gonna chop all this up and put it in the pan for a little extra zing. This is gonna give us some amazing extra robust flavor. As you can tell, the stew has settled down because I added another three quarters of a cup. So there is one full cup of stock in this, the roast. We should be good. I'm going to put the lid on. S since I let this saute for as long as I did, we are setting it up for 18 minutes at pressure cook. It's on, it's boiling, steaming hot, and we're on the go, guys. This is gonna be cooked in no time. Now, after 18 minutes, I'm gonna check where it's at, and I may leave it to um, slow cook because it's not really dinner time, but I like to prepare my meals in advance and then go and do my errands. And because I knew that I was going to make this roast, as you can see, my Instapot is at capacity. See that maximum line? Because I knew I was planning on making this roast today, I made the potatoes the way that I love to make them with fresh herbs that we're going to eat kind of, it's somewhere between mashed potatoes and stew potatoes. You guys will see. I made them yesterday. They heat up fine because I don't have a second Instapot and it was just easier for me to make them a day in advance and store them away. But we're going to have lots of yummy gravy. So I'm not going to put potatoes in here because I already have potatoes that I made yesterday. So we're going to move on to the potato recipe now and then I'm going to plate everything up for you guys at the end. Okay, so this is how I prepare the potatoes. I put one very large onion to saute in the Instapot and I cleaned three, actually six potatoes. I wedged them. I chop up a whole bunch of fennel, stalks, leaves, and all with some scissors. Fennel gives the potatoes such amazing flavor. I absolutely love fresh fennel. There it is steaming and sauteing up in the Instapot. I cut up one tomato and I put in half a cup of chicken broth and I cook the potatoes for seven minutes and they get mushy and almost like mashed potatoes, but there's still some solid chunks of potato. And these potatoes are going to be absolutely delicious underneath my amazing stew and I can't wait to show you guys how the stew came out. It is so darn good, you guys. You are going to be addicted to this stew. This is how it looks after the cooking time. Then what we're going to do is take the meat out and make some gravy. So here is what the meat looks like. I am going to put it back in, but in the actual Instapot, I have all of this delicious meat drippings with all the vegetables and I'm going to add two bags of just frozen cut green beans. These happen to be 12 ounce bags and if you have one big bag that's fine too. And then I'm going to mix in two packs of this less sodium stone mill gravy mix from Aldi's I absolutely love this stuff. It's not bioengineered. It is going to thicken the gravy right up and make a delicious gravy. You can make gravy from scratch or you can put a can of gravy in here or some flour or cornstarch, but this works for us and they love it. So here it is with me having stirred in the, the frozen string beans and all of that yummy gravy mix is made a nice, thick, juicy, yum, yum, yum gravy. I love gravy and slashing it around in that potato mixture. 
that I have to show you guys how it comes out. It's somewhere between stewed potatoes that are overcooked and mashed potatoes. It's my personal favorite. They're really flavorful. Now, I happen to love this organic from BJ's Veggie Blend. If you have a different seasoning that you like, you can add whatever you want in here, but I just added a teaspoon of that veggie blend mix because it just, just wakes everything up and gives it such a great flavor. Then I'm gonna take a scissor and I'm just gonna cube the meat up. You almost don't even need a scissor. You can pretty much pull it apart, but I just like to use the scissor and make nice little cubes and I'm gonna throw it back in the pot. You don't really have to do this part if you don't want to, but I want the pieces to all get covered in gravy. Here is the roast all cut up. That is a lot of meat. We're definitely gonna get a lot of servings out of this and with all the vegetables and the gravy and the yumminess, this is gonna be such a delicious dinner. Don't forget about the potatoes we made. So I'm gonna plate everything up and show you how we like to eat it. Now I take the meat and I put it back in the Instapot and I mix it in with all the goodies that we have in here. We've got all this going on. We mix the meat back in and basically we just want this to cook for about three, I'm literally gonna pressure cook it for three minutes just so that the string beans get really yummy. Long enough for the string beans to melt with all of that yummy gravy and get absolutely flavor filled. And here it is. Look at this yummy stew roast, whatever you want to call this, guys. Look at it. It is perfect. The beans are not mushy. The carrots are perfect. Everything comes out perfect in this recipe. And again, like I said, if you want your potatoes to be harder, that's up to you. We just like ours like that. They're somewhere between mashed potatoes and whole potatoes. And you serve it up. I like to make it with Normally, I'll serve it with a crusty French bread and some butter, but tonight I just made some plain old white toast and we have some softened butter in my favorite butter dish. And here it is. Go ahead and taste it, John. Delicious. Mm -mm. So guys, did you enjoy coming along as we made this yummy stew? Do you use an Instapot? How do you guys make your stew? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.